Change is coming to the Denver Broncos special teams. With Pro Bowl long snapper Casey Kreider departed for now in free agency, the Broncos picked up kicker Brandon McManus' team option for 2020 and signed Jacob Bobenmoyer to replace Kreider. Incumbent punter Colby Wadman, however, has been on thin ice, and according to Nine News' Mike Kliss, the Broncos just made a move that will see him plunge through to the icy depths. On Tuesday, Denver signed ex-Lions punter Sam Martin to a three-year, $7 million deal. Broncos fans have long clamored for the team to do something about its punter position. The original plan was for 2016 seventh rounder Riley Dixon to succeed Britton Colquitt after Super Bowl 50. That didn't last as Dixon was traded away following his rookie year and the Broncos signed ex-Raiders punter Marquette King. That experiment didn't even last one full season as King was cut amid the 2018 campaign after clashing with coaches and local media. That's when special teams coordinator Tom McMahon turned to Wadman to bridge the gap. Since then, it's been Wadman punting at mile high and suffice to say, the returns have been subpar. The Broncos telegraphed their intention of upgrading the punter position this offseason as the team signed ex-Texan Trevor Daniel to a futures deal on New Year's Eve. However, with Martin languishing on the free agent market, the Broncos saw their chance to provide some stability to the critical third phase. Martin is entering his eighth NFL season, a 2013 fifth round pick of Detroit's out of Appalachian State, he has steadily plugged away in the Motor City. As far as accolades go, Martin was named to the PFWA's All-Rookie Team in 2013, and he has been named Conference Special Teams Player of the Week before as well. Wadman's days in Denver, though, are numbered. Outside of his shabby punting average, Wadman had the penchant for delivering that shank punt at the most inopportune time in a game for the Broncos. The best punters are weapons for their team, helping to flip field position and contributing to wins. Wadman has been a liability that the Broncos have simply lived with for too long, and I'm not sure why. This pretty well sums up the statistical differences between the two punters. Quote, Martin ranked 13th in the NFL last year with a net punting average of 41.8 yards and was number two with only 4.5 yards per return. He was tied for 18th with a 45.8 yard gross average. Wadman ranked 17th with a 39.4 yard net, 25th with a 44.4 yard gross average, and 29th with a 9.8 yard return average. Close quote. Is Martin the second coming of Tom Ruin? Probably not, but at least he's competent and he's proven. He's also now the 14th highest paid punter in the NFL. Martin has been paired up with ex-Broncos kicker Matt Prater for almost his entire career. Now he'll get to make buddies with McManus and likely Bobin Moyer. For Mile High Huddle and Sports Illustrated, I'm Chad Jensen.